All right, good morning. It's uh, it's time to shove off again. What's this? <laughs> you guys ready to go? Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to sleep. Yeah, Luke. Shut up. <laughs> it's funny. Let's go west. Let's go. Definitely harder to do one handed. All right, site number three was a good site. Heading towards Big Bend. Not gonna get there all the way today, but we're gonna do one night and then we got uh, Saturday night, Big Bend, three nights in there. To do some exploring, hopefully some dry camping. Don't will there be 5G? I'm pretty sure at least one will have 5G. We were at the dump station and I didn't have a, a camera hooked up, which is too bad because it would have made for some good video. Anyway, pull up to the spot, get the hose out, get the little 90 degree thing out, hook it all up, put it in the hole, go to hook it up to our black tank flush tube. I take the cap out and guess what happens? It all just starts flowing out. And it was, it's one of those moments where you're like watching it happen, but yet you're not like processing what's happening. So here the, the poop and big carrots are floating out and I'm just like, what's going on? And I'm like, wait, wait, I gotta stop this. So then I hurry up and push the stop, then it stopped. So what I think happened was the guys at Camping World, maybe they do this on automatically or maybe they did this to be funny to me or something, but they, they opened up the valves and then they put the cap on. So that when you're, when you're like looking at it, you know how the valves stick down? You don't know for sure if they're open or closed. You just assume that they're closed when there's no poop flowing out of the thing. Turn right. <laughs> I just pop the cap off and there it goes. I didn't really get any on me, so that's good. There were a few floaters on the ground, but I took care of them. I hooked up a hose and I sprayed them down the hole. But yeah, it was uh, interesting. I'm glad that that happened at a dump station. Had we been at like the site that I thought, well, I could hook up and just dump it on. Like, ah, we don't need to dump right now. So I didn't hook up. So I said, I'll wait till we dump. Anyway, we are heading west. Let's go. get a few things. In the camper, we were lacking some of the like standards. Toilet paper holder, paper towel holder, that type of stuff. Interstate 30, way out here. I mean, just look, nothing around. But T-Mobile has a 96% 5G signal. These guys are rocking it, rocking it. I just ran a speed test, it was like 50 some. You know who's really benefiting from this? These guys right here, <laughs> right? Have a 5G signal way out here? Man, unbelievable. So this is gonna be really the test though. When we start getting out into the wild part of Texas, is T-Mobile gonna hold up? I thought you were finding a snack. I'm trying to, but there's no snack. We can do this. How are we gonna steer this thing? Whoa! Yes! Okay, that's that, that's that. Okay, we'll just get off. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we made a quick stop, tractor supply. I'm really enjoying this camper because it's just kind of the run and gun type of thing. You just grab it, go. And it's it's pretty smooth, not a lot of weight. Van tows it really nice. The only thing that I don't really like is because it's not weight distributed, it has kind of a bounce to it. Bouncy, bouncy, bounce. So I thought, well, 
I can get a small weight distribution hitch and uh, put it on. So that's what we did. I've done one of these before and it, I ended up returning it because it wasn't enough, but that was for a big camper. This is light camper. I think this should be fine. It's heavy enough though. And I bought some tools to get the ball on there. I think we're all set. We'll keep going. And when we get to the spot for tonight, then that's when I'll put it on. So I wanted to get it from Tractor Supply just in case I didn't like it. And I could return it to any Tractor Supply. We arrived in Midland, Texas. And uh, this was just an RV park that I saw some reviews for. There's not much to it, you know, but I think there's a lot of uh, a lot of workers here, maybe oil workers here camping out. There was a dude when I was checking in, he came up and he's like, hey, you do like internet? I'm like, yeah, we do internet. He's like, dude, do you have a card? <laughs> I didn't have a card. Um, I do have a card, but it's buried back there. But he's like, I will come find you. I'm guessing a lot of people here are relying on this campground Wi-Fi. Not very good, but T-Mobile has 5G here. I think it'll, that'll be a good option for anybody who's in here that wants to get some decent internet. The 5G with T-Mobile, telling you out west, they're doing a really good job. All right, anyway, we got to get this thing hooked up. So I thought I'd bring you out and uh, show you what I'm working on. It's just a Reese round bar style. That's, that's what it is, nothing fancy, but wanted to grab it today just to get this thing just smooth. I look forward to a smooth ride. Do a quick recap of what they've done so far on this trip <laughs> right <laughs> just yesterday we drove by the dude perfect headquarters oh, we took some pictures on the way out we see the dude perfect dudes doing a video we go and say hi i didn't get it on and get any footage of it sorry about that but we say hi we just say hey we saw you in memphis you guys did great you know they're working we didn't want to bother Said hi, went over to the Traxxas place, got a whole bunch of cool parts. Uh -huh. So that I think at one point in the day, he was like, dude, this is like the best day ever. Yeah. Yeah, right? Okay, well, so that was yesterday. It, we could make it even better by going bowling. <laughs> I gotta talk to Tino about, about bringing these guys on this tour. I, I did get some work done, right? So it's not like we're just playing all the time. It's it might seem like it because we're getting footage of it. Like, you know, here we are putting this thing on. But it's not what we it's do the whole time. Well, it doesn't look right. Okay, so I thought this was gonna be easy. Oh, it's pretty easy still. Let me just try to, I'll get this one figured out. Maybe I didn't tighten it up enough. Maybe I tightened too, too much. pretty good too from a level standpoint. So what I really like about this is that we can just pull in somewhere and it'll be pretty much level. That's kind of been the key on this trip. Very cool. All right, now we're gonna go for a ride. Let's take it for a spin. It's mildly tight. I don't think it'll be too bad. We are testing the weight distribution hitch. Oh, here comes another bump. 
Um, tomorrow we're gonna go into Big Ben. Oh man, this looks good. All right, ready? Oh. That was that was great. Oh, was this like is so day. nice. This is so nice. Having a little camper, just like a little 17-foot camper, traveling around, it's like, wow. It's like night and day difference. Ooh. That was nice. But like, we had our Rockwood, pretty big. We went and got a Cougar, even bigger. You get used to towing something big, but when you get to the campground, you're kind of happy to get rid of it, right? Yeah, you drop that. it, and then you're like, yeah, let's... Let's drive around. This mug, we've had, we've left it hooked up the whole time. And now with the weight distribution on it, it's like, oh yeah, I don't mind it at all. Otherwise, we're really glad to have you guys along with us, by the way. And, we're, right? We're always glad. thing with homeschooled kids that never have to put shoes on to go to school. Why are bowling balls so heavy? Here we go. <laughs> 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 did pretty good for your first what? time. Wait, it's not your first time, right? Second time. Second time bowling. Everybody around here has WeBoost. At least the trucks do. And we like can truck. scoff our noses over there. Again. But WeBoost, it works for them if they need to make a phone call, right? Check it out. <gasps> but if you want to get internet, get an NC Connect. That's for sure. It's nice and level too. And now we got to figure out how to get back to the campground. All right, you guys have a great night. Thanks for joining us for bowling. We'll see you tomorrow.